ABC's Wipeout is the outrageously funny game show where contestants tackle an incredibly challenging obstacle course for a $50,000 grand prize. It's also the show where watching people fall just doesn't seem to get old. Joining us now to dish the inside scoop on Wipeout is one of its hosts, Jill Wagner. Welcome, Jill. Thanks so much for being here. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> so is hosting Wipeout as much fun as it seems? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you I have the best job in the world. It's, uh, I get to play all day long. I mean, do you, you find yourself constantly cracking up? Yeah, the, the worst part about it is, is I try to be really professional at what I do, and I don't think it is proper to laugh at people when they're falling, but... Why is that so can... funny? Why? It's, it, it's actually it's something I've thought about. Like, why do we like to laugh when people fall? It's like, you know, it's like if you're walking down the escalator and you see someone trip off the escalator, it's... You it's, gotta laugh. Yeah. You yeah. gotta laugh. It never gets old, too. It's so true. And kids love it. Kids, That's the best thing about it. Kids do love it. But now, I've seen some pretty hairy situations. Do people <laughs> actually get hurt on the show? I think that's the number one question I get asked, and and I don't think it's, to my knowledge, they don't get really hurt, but I would say that some people wake up the next morning and say, why did I do that? <laughs> a little banged and bruised, perhaps, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, we have a clip from the show. We're going to take a look. Okay. Bree Carter, occupation nanny. Well, she just got spanked by the sweeper, and now it's giving her a bath. Back to her feet. Oh! Now she's looking like super nanny. She's hanging on for dear life. Oh, come on, Jill. Let's not over-dramatize this thing. Johnny, that is not a dramatization. She's getting punished. Breeze back up again. Oh. And she gets owl pear. Dear what? Nanny Diary, I don't believe in corporal punishment anymore. Oh, that looks just so harsh. <laughs> don't you want to come on the oh, show now? I <laughs> do. It looks like so much fun. Now, are all of the contestants pretty game, or do they sometimes get up there and they're like, whoa, this is more than I bargained for? Yeah, there are a couple that uh, I don't know if they if they don't know what kind of show it is or they haven't seen it, but they get up at the top and they're like, nope. I can't I'm do it. Done. I'm 50, done. 50000 or not. 50000 or not. I personally would not do it for $50,000, but then again, right. I'm hosting. I'm not well, a contestant. Speaking of, have you ever run an obstacle course, perhaps when the cameras were not rolling, just for fun? I, okay, I, I kind of want to, but like I said, I don't want the cameras rolling <laughs> because I would be the first person to get really, really hurt, the host of the show. <laughs> it sort of looks fun, but it looks like, I don't know, it just looks scary to me. It does, and you know what the scary part about is, is that we have people that look like they could run a marathon, that they're really athletic, they look like they're training for the Olympics, and they do horrible. Really? So imagine like, the normal guy that comes in and but I read that you're really good at picking the winners. Did you know that I, I do that? Yeah, I read <laughs> how did that you, you hear got that? a little <laughs> bent thing going on the side and we're not allowed to talk about it, but just let us know how you pick the winners. You know, you know, I will tell you this, I'm kind of in debt right now. Mm -hmm. I have not been that good at picking the winners recently. Recently, but in the beginning I was really good. Mm -hmm. And and I don't know, it's a kind of, it's a vibe that someone has. But you're saying it was never the athletic ones, it was never like the it Olympic. Really, it really isn't, and there's nothing, there's no way you can tell, you just, they gotta have that confidence right. that something, or either they just have to be Look completely out of Crazy. their mind. Now the set looks enormous. Is it, it is. What, is it scarier in person Yeah, I think that that's one of the things when people actually get to our set, mm -hmm. that you look on TV and, and it doesn't look, I mean it looks intimidating, but it doesn't look undoable. And when you get there and you see how high, like when you're jumping on those, <laughs> I love saying this, when you're jumping on the big balls. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. Say it. it is pretty funny. Oh, so, so when you're jumping on the big balls, you're actually really high up in the air. So anyone that's afraid of heights may have a problem with this obstacle course as well, which I totally have a fear of heights. So right. No, I do too. I wouldn't be good at any of this, actually. Now, you know, people who are big fans of yours would, of course, know that you were also on Punk, yeah. which I thought was so much fun. Did you have fun doing that? Oh, my God. You, I think the best part about being on that show is, is I had just come out from North Carolina. That was my first acting job. And I didn't know any of the celebrities that I was punking. Mm -hmm. So I really didn't care right. what I said to them. You know, that's the beauty of being, well, naive and not knowing anything. And now... <laughs> <laughs> if I tried to punk Katie Holmes now, there, there would, would be no punking Katie Holmes work. now. So do you still act as well? Yeah, yeah. Your hosting I'm, duties? 
I do. I'm, I'm wanting to get more into the acting as well, mm -hmm. and I just kind of want to do it all. I love this. Why not? I have a business degree. I never dreamed that I would be in entertainment at all, right. and I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> doesn't matter. As long as you're having fun and getting paid for it, don't question That's, it, right? Yeah. Right. I'm taking your advice. That's it. That's it. Great. Well, so do you have any advice for contestants who want to get on the show, get on Wipeout? Yeah, actually, we are um, casting right mm. now. So casting, you go to abc.com. And um, <laughs> I would say be as crazy or as athletic as possible. One of those two things. One of the two things will get you on the show. All right, Jill, thank you so much. Thank you it was for fun chatting me. with you today. You. And you can check out Wipeout Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8, 7 Central on ABC. That's all the buzz we have for you today. I'm Tanya Rivero in New York. Thanks for watching.